Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we are looking at the uh, collector's edition of Curse Castilla for Nintendo Switch. Now I've talked about this game on my channel before uh, on the PlayStation 4 system and on the Vita as well. And if you're familiar with games like, um, I, mean, I mean, I hate to bring this one up, you know, but um, if you're familiar with games like Ghosts and Goblins, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Ghouls and Ghosts, uh, you'll know what to expect here but this game is not as difficult as those games it feels very familiar but it's not as punishing as those games in my opinion I had a lot of fun with this one now for those of you that might be interested in getting a, getting a copy of this game I actually got mines off of eBay uh, I found out about it uh, a little bit after its release unfortunately um, they did a pre-order up for about a month on this game and uh, I just did not know about it but Anyways, looking at this unboxing here, you see the slip cover here, and I'm trying to see where to open it up here. Let's see here. Okay, there's a little tab here. I want to be very careful with that because one time I actually ripped uh, one of my boxes, and that was pretty annoying. Okay, I think I got it this time. But anyway, so I got this on eBay, and it was funny. The guy that was selling it had like multiple copies, and he had the auctions ending on them one after another. So I bid on one, I would get outbid. I bid on the next one, outbid again until I got towards the end. And then I lost all of them. And then all of a sudden, I get that a uh, second chance offer. So he pulled that scam. But anyway, here's the contents inside. You can see that little sticker here. Uh, of course, the making of book, which is pretty cool. And here is a hardcover uh, making of book uh, or art book too. It has a lot of good stuff in here. This reminds me of, like when I got Lunar the Silver Star story back in the day and it had that uh, hardcover manual that came with it. I was just so ecstatic when I saw that thing. I just kept going over it and reading it like, every chance I got at the time. So uh, that, that, that making up hardcover kind of reminds me of that. And then of course the soundtrack. Um, that I'm always sold when they throw the sounds of the game in a collection, that's pretty cool. So uh, this game has a lot of crazy chip tunes in it. So definitely uh, something that a lot of people will like. Now this right here is like this, uh, kind of like a stand up arcade that they, like they included with it. I'm not gonna put this thing together. I feel like that's just not really worth it. And then, um, <laughs> Yeah, that's like this little keychain that comes with it too. So, you know, overall, I think this collection was pretty cool. You know, uh, the regular retail for it, I believe, was around fifty dollars. Uh, but now, uh, at this time of this video, you see people probably trying to sell. Like, you could get a good deal if you uh, from a secondhand seller if they if you pay seventy, or if you could if you talk them down to what the original price was, even better. But a lot of them are not going to be talked down like that. So, but anyways, uh, cool collection here. And now I will open the game. Uh, hopefully there's a manual inside of this which I'm pretty sure there is but you know I don't know it feels like there is so but let's let's see what do you know I was right you know when you buy a switch game it's always awkward when there's nothing in that little slot up there you know you feel like there's a should be a manual or some kind of code or something like that these days you know mainly I want a manual up there and I'm glad this game delivered so uh, definitely really cool with that and overall guys I'm liking this collection so far and if you have not played this game it's definitely a must-have I, I feel if you like platform games you know it's not hard like super ghouls and ghosts or ghosts and goblins like I said earlier in the video but it is challenging and it is a lot of fun um, if you can't find this of course you could get get it digital I don't know how much it is but I'm sure it's fairly cheap uh, well cheaper than getting this collector's edition All right, everyone, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to do more unboxings like this uh, uh, more frequently. I have, I think I have like five of them already uploaded, and I just got to release them. Uh, I, I kind of like going back to doing these. This is a lot of fun, so have a lot of cool surprises for you guys in the future. Uh, but, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments uh, what you guys think of this game. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for you, Radical Reggie, and I will see you all in the next video.